Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer, liaison to ACIP, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to this new edition in the American College of Physicians Adult Immunization video series. The topic, pneumococcal vaccination recommendations for adults, new options, broaden serotype coverage, and offer greater duration of protection. Pneumococcal vaccination recommendations are important but complicated with different combinations and timing depending on risk indications. Remember last year, PCV13 was replaced in the recommendations with higher valent versions, PCV15 and PCV20, PPSV23 remained. For those not previously vaccinated, last year's recommendations have not changed. PCV20 still rules for simplicity and broad coverage for those with chronic medical conditions, CSF leaks and cochlear implants, and for those with immunocompromising conditions, as well as for those age 65 and older. And there's also the sequential combo option of PCV15, then PPSV23. Remember, there's concern that PPSV can blunt immune response of PCV. That's why PCV should ideally be given first. The interval between them depends on type of risk indication. One year for those with chronic medical conditions, at least eight weeks for those with immunocompromising conditions and CSF leaks. That was for PCV15. But what about patients who had already started their vaccination schedules with PCV13? These patients are sort of caught in pneumococcal vaccination limbo. They started their series with PCV13, which was what was recommended at the time, but their vaccination series is still in progress. It's still not complete. This dilemma is addressed in these new refinements. Remember, vaccine valency determines the breadth of coverage. Vaccine composition affects durability of immune protection. For valency, PPSV23 still leads the pack, but for durability of immune response, vaccine composition is a game changer. And in this way, polysaccharide vaccines fall short. Vaccine composition affects both immunologic mechanism and memory. PPSV23 is a pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine. It's made from 23 capsular polysaccharide antigens. Polysaccharide vaccines are T cell independent and they don't trigger production of memory B cells. PCV vaccines are pneumococcal conjugate vaccines. Their capsular polysaccharide antigens are conjugated to a protein carrier, a non-toxic diphtheria protein called CRM197. Conjugate vaccines are T cell dependent and do produce memory B cells, which means better immunologic memory and greater direction of protection. The goal of pneumococcal vaccination is broad coverage and durable protection. That's why the recommendations have been refined. And here's how. The overarching question is, should adults who started the previous recommendation with PCV13 now be given the option of PCV20 rather than PPSV23 to broaden pneumococcal protection? The simple answer from ACIP is yes, with caveats. PCV20 can be offered as an option to PPSV23 to obtain broader subtype coverage. PCV20 also augments durability of protection. However, the logistical details of the journey to implementation has been controversial and somewhat confusing. What to get when depends on where you are in the vaccination timeline based on age and risk condition. These summary graphics were shown at ACIP and are great tools. And there's more. In the past, those 65 and older who completed a PCV13, then PPSV23 combo, that's an estimated 17 million people, thought they were done. But some patients may now need more, and that decision's now up to them and to you. An additional pneumococcal vaccine dose with PCV20 at least five years later 
is now an option under shared clinical decision-making to ensure durability of broad vaccine coverage. Pneumococcal disease is a major cause of morbidity. Pneumonia, meningitis, bacteremia, bacteremic pneumonia, and mortality. Adults aged 19 to 64 with immunocompromising conditions have a nine to 18 times the risk of pneumococcal disease compared with healthy adults. And more than 90% of the current burden of invasive pneumococcal disease in adults is in those aged 19 to 64 with risk indications, including underlying medical conditions, immunocompromising conditions, and in those aged 65 and older. This is why pneumococcal vaccination is so important. These are the groups these new refined changes target. For the American College of Physicians, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.